Hey Libra, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your weekly reading. It's a two week reading. It's for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's been guided to see this reading here on YouTube. We're using Cozy Witch Tarot, we're using Idols Tarot, and we're using Pantha Oracle. We're also going to be going all the way over here to the After Tarot because this is a two week reading. So we're going to need to know what's happening on the second week. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Libra. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. Also, um, anything could come out during this reading right till the very last second. Even after I click off, I could come back on. This is for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided for whatever reason you're guided. Welcome. It could be your reading adventure and daydream what else so somebody's thinking about going somewhere doing something blind all right and strategy all right so this is interesting somebody wants to do something like i'm dreaming of doing this whatever it is they show you know this person climbing uh, climbing a mountain and dreaming about a beautiful beach somebody wants to go do something but they really don't know how to go about it like they this would be something they've never done before or something they're not sure about and they want to make plans for it um but again they don't know where to start so let's find out what this is about libra all right cozy witch tarot what a great deck these are all great decks these are all brand new decks thank you to those of you who contributed to new decks uh, we're getting some of the our old favorites replaced little by little, and I'm also getting new ones whenever I can. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Libra or anyone else who's guided. Adventure, daydream, blind, and strategy. One more shuffle for Libra. All right, for anyone who's guided to see the Libra reading and resonates, what do we need to know the most for the next two weeks? Yeah, Seven of Swords. Again, the Seven of Swords sometimes is a card of I really don't know what, uh, like I'm something's hidden, you know, there's something I don't know. Tell me more about this. It doesn't feel, um, it doesn't feel negative. What do we need to know? It just feels like the unknown what do we need to know, please? Libra reading for anyone who's guided. Yeah, you got the six. Look at the six of swords. It's absolutely got someone's bags packed and the boat out there. Are you thinking about going on a cruise or on some other kind of trip that would be completely new to you? We've got the, what is this? Two of Pentacles as a challenge. Absolutely. Look at how this person's weighing out their options, trying to make a decision absolutely what is this ten of pentacles reversed what else do we need to know oops that's too many just one or two libra reading for anyone who's guided the seven of cups another card of choice and the two of pentacle no four of pentacles reversed absolutely all right so this could be for you and your partner because we have the two of cups here, but also the two makes me again feel like you're torn between a decision. Uh, the high priestess is here as well. And this could be again, another card of two and uh, needing to make a decision and eight of swords being up in your head about it. So when I look at this and there's 10 of cups behind that, you're going to lo look at how they're actually enjoying a beach here really nice i really feel as though you're torn about what to do or the two of you have two different ideas and if it's just one person just you you're really torn between two different things should i go on the cruise or should i go on the hiking expedition <laughs> you know whatever it is but this absolutely has something to do about not knowing what to do in a situation there's so many cards of choice and also the four of pentacles says you know, it also could be that you're going to have to part with a bunch of cash because the Four of Pentacles is a, is a card of, I don't want to part with my cash, but in reverse, I feel like also Ten of Pentacles reverse says this is going to cost a lot of money. If you're thinking of going on some kind of world tour or a world cruise, or I don't know what this is. Let's find out. It seems very, um, 
And I don't know, you know, multiple messages could come out for other people too. So just hang in there for a second. We hold a whole nother week to go into after this. The second week is really fast though, because we only use that, uh, after tarot on it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Libra? What do we need to know? What are the messages of Libra? This could be for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Libra reading for whatever reason they're here. Libra reading one more shuffle Libra reading all right let's take a look at your six of swords smack dab in the middle tell me about this six of swords here please Libra reading yeah look at that the princess of swords and look how she's looking it's in reverse. I feel like you're having such a hard time seeing something because she's in reverse with her ocular there and we have the blind card. There's something here you're not seeing or you don't fully understand. And even look how the adventurer person is really like holding their hand up to their eyes. Like, I can't really see this. What is it? Can I get another card on the Six of Swords with the Princess of Swords reversed? the princess of pentacles so the princess of pentacles it's about money again so this could have to do with you're not sure how much it's going to cost let me take a look at or you're not sure if you can afford this that's what i'm really feeling tell me about the seven of swords here eight of wands and it came out as a challenge and the eight of wands is known as a travel card as well i just feel like you're um having a hard time really understanding the cost of something or you're not sure you can afford it or that you want to release this much money for this particular thing whatever it is it just it definitely seems to be like a move of some sort or like i said it's it's almost like an adventure to you like i could do this but i'm worried about the cost uh let's look at your ten of pentacles reversed what about the ten of pentacles reversed ace of swords and check this out your six of swords again here at the bottom and the ace of swords has the hermit on it trying to get clarity and information and wisdom behind you on the situation of this move whatever this I, it's like a travel or something this is all about you trying to see something clearly about the money it's going to cost to do something it feels like um it could be a move because we have the six of swords and the four of wands these are both my um peace cards but this is the way i always see this did we get in the boat and the six of swords takes us to the place of peace now is it a vacation or is it an actual move something you're thinking about but you're not really sure how much it's going to cost could be you and a partner not really sure what it's going to entail or what it's going to if it would be a good move if it would be you guys have to let me know is this an actual moving to another state another country is this some it's something you're thinking about daydreaming about contemplating about it would be something when i see adventure come out i feel like it's big you know like it's um but for some of you it could just be a vacation but it would be an expensive one or you're just not sure you could afford it let me look at the two of pentacles here as a challenge for libra two of pentacles as a challenge yeah the devil reversed it would mean you'd have to budge you'd have to like this is i'm stuck in contemplation when it's all in the upright but it's really not in the upright it's really not blocked and out of your reach. It's just a matter of needing more information, I think. The wheel would turn. So with the devil reverse, the wheel turns. With the devil in the upright, it holds the wheel back. But the wheel is in the upright, the devil is in reverse. This makes me feel like um, the, when you decide it's go time. Like it's not, like it, when you decide it's going to be game on. It's not going to be like um you have to wait for this or anything so that makes me feel like um it really depends on the wisdom the information whatever you find out that you've been having a hard time getting information on you might have to do some homework on this but when you do you'll get the information look at it see the princess of wands how she's waiting for that letter she's waiting for information to come and when it gets there wheel turns that's exactly what i was just trying to say 
um, this is going to be game on. Tell me about, um, I really wanted to do these two together, but I forgot. So, well, we'll do it separate. Another card of making a choice or thinking about something that you want to do. Tell me about the seven of cups is these the daydream, the two of pentacles and the seven of cups all feel like the same energy to me. Tell me about the seven of cups. What do we need to know? Six of Cups. This could be something that you've, um, I feel like it's you and another person. And yeah, because look at the bottom of the deck. You got the Two of Wands as well. And see how there's two people planting seeds together to go down some path together. It's reversed though. I feel like it's you and another person that both have to do that. Let me look at it one more time. Can I see the Seven of Cups one more time? Six of Wands reverse, not budging, not moving. So this could be something about, um, why is Six of Wands reversed? Why? I feel like it has to be like this till that, uh, till you make the decision, actually. Tell me about the Six of Wands reverse. What about it? It's like one of you might have made up your mind and the other one's not sure. The um, star in the reverse and the star is, here's the star in the upright, trying to hide the uh, nude parts. The daydream, the wish. So this is what it feels like to me. It feels like one of the two people really want this and the other person's like nervous about it or isn't sure that it's going to be a good move. Um, and even look at the bottom. We got one person like all stressed out about it and the other person's not, you know, the eight of swords is reversed. So are we going to come to a peaceful place about this? Uh, let's look at the four of pentacles reversed. Tell me about, and all these just immediately turned over in my hand the minute I started shuffling. Seven of pentacles, ace of cups, and that princess of wands again, who's waiting for the go. The go to the new beginning and waiting. Look, these are two cards of I'm waiting for something. What am I waiting for? Information on my new beginning. That's exactly what I see here. Once this information comes in, I feel like the person who's worried about this out of, I feel like one of these two people here is worried about this. Uh, two of people at the bottom, the two of cups again, same cup, same card. I mean, uh, they'll see clearer with the hangman in the upright they'll have more enlightened information. I feel like this is necessary for the one person who's feeling really nervous or um, doesn't know if they can afford this or if it's gonna be a good move. I feel as though that person is gonna have to see things in black and white, you know, see the blind card. I don't really see all the, I don't, I can't really strategize if I don't have all the information. I feel like this information when it comes to this person. So if you're the person who really wants to do this and your spouse or your partner or whoever, it doesn't matter. It could be one of, you know, your best friend isn't sure about it. Get everything in black and white for them because seeing is believing uh, um, them being able to see it in black and white, exactly what it's going to cost, what it's going to entail, if it's going to be a good idea, a good move, a good process, even if it's a vacation. Put it all out there for them. And if you're the opposite one, look for the information. You know, don't freak out. Just find your information. That way you can speak to your partner in a more clear way of, hey, I do like this idea because dot, 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 or I don't like this idea. Let's re-strategize, right? We can always re-strategize. Anyway, let me know, Libra. I'm going to pull you a couple of after tarot and we're going to see where it goes next in the following week. Comment down below, though, guys, and please don't forget to hit like on this video. It helps your section of the channel grow, and there's a lot of good things about growing your section, including bonus readings to the highest liked videos, and you guys have won them before. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? What are the messages here? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Libra reading for the second week. What do they need to know? happiness joy and wow there it is it came in your six of wands that we were feeling like we couldn't bring that six of wands that that uh 
like we these two cards we want in the uh, in the upright and you got them both in reverse the star and the six of wands it's like so we couldn't get to a peaceful place about this we were in our heads about it something about the partner or or you to the part one of you two were having a hard time maybe both of you i don't know you just needed more information look at this it's like um new opportunities with the page of cups the ten of cups happiness joy the six of wands now in the upright showing us some kind of success and remember we started back here with that ten of cups looking like it was a beach vacation right that we were in our heads and stressed about um that we were going to do something like this adventure or this whatever this was coming in let's get another couple of I, it's like you guys come to um an agreement or it ends up being way better than you thought it was going to be the information is what i'm feeling tell me more about this what do we need to know about what's next here libra reading there it is i just saw it the nine of swords and somebody is going to get past the stress they're going to fight the demons or whatever has been stressing them out. And the reason is because clarity is coming in and we're going to understand it much better. Whatever this is that somebody has been stressed about that has to do with this move or this adventure or whatever, they're going to get the information they needed. And this is what's going to help them get out of their head. Remember, this is after tarot. This is when I'm done stressing about it. I already fought the demons and what are the demons it's my own mind that comes by clarity it comes with this information these messages this information that comes in clarity and um it makes someone feel you got so many cards of the information comes in and it clears it up i get out of my head because i understand it better and i'm not as stressed out about it as i was let's see if we Comment down below, Libra. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you guys for being here. Have a great couple of weeks. Don't forget your monthlies just came out. If you haven't seen them, I hope you're checking them out. Also, we do dailies every day. Talk to you soon. Bye.